Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be talking about nutrition. Uh, nutrition is important because nutrition is, um, we get nutrition, or nutrition is something that we, um, that helps us uh, function properly, okay? It is what we can, what we take from the outside environment and uh, into our bodies and, um, allows us to function basically so um how do we get the correct nutrition well we can get it from food right um we can get it from food from certain drinks um and uh th this will definitely replenish our bodies um so that we can function here we go all right ingest ingest this means to swallow or to absorb so for example you can say um this is uh, you can say I ingested an apple. Okay, um, this is usually used in uh, medical jargon. You you don't really say uh, this in everyday conversations. You might say I ate an apple or I just had an apple. Um, ingest uh, would it's more formal. Okay, like the patient ingested um, s such and such uh, um, um, med medication. I don't know. Or they ingested such and such foods. Okay. Um, however, swallow can be used in everyday conversation as well as absorb, okay? Uh, just you would use absorb differently, like um, the cloth absorbed the liquids, <laughs> okay? Absorb means to take in, by the way. Like um, in uh, terms of the digestion process, our, um, our digestive system and our uh, small intestine uh, specifically absorbs um, food particles, whereas the large intestine absorbs water. Okay, uh, here we go. Digest or break down. All right, so to digest or it means to break down. Uh, we have this process called digestion. This is when we eat food, okay, and our body uh, starting from the mouth and going through the esophagus into the stomach, um, later through the intestines. Um, this, this whole process of breaking down the food um, through these body parts is called digestion. And this is necessary to be able to get the proper uh, nutrients, vitamins, and uh, minerals uh, from our f food sources, okay, from the food and uh, Okay, water and drinks that we uh, consume or ingest. All right, carbohydrates. Um, carbohydrates are one of the three macronutrients, okay? In short, carbs. Um, carbs are made up of uh, carbon and hyd hydrogen atoms or elements, but uh, what's important to know is that carbohydrates, um, you can find a lot of carbohydrates in certain foods, okay, such as potatoes, excuse me, breads, cereals, okay, um, certain drinks have a lot of carbs, like sugary drinks, um, milk has carbs, and yogurt has carbs, okay, dairy has a lot of carbs, um, and pasta, okay, I don't want to forget, pasta is a carb-rich food, um, Water attaches to carbs um, easily, and uh, carbs are a great source of energy, okay, because, um, okay, there are several types of carbs. There are complex carbohydrates and simple har carbohydrates, but they both give us energy um, that we burn uh, through our metabolic processes, and um, which allow us to um, function, okay, to, for our uh, organs to work and for our muscles to allow and um, facilitate movement okay proteins uh, proteins are made up of bu the building blocks called amino acids proteins are uh, necessary um, again for the function um, of our um, system or of our body um, for enzymatic processes and um, such as digestion um, yeah, but also proteins are necessary for our muscles, okay? Um, we can build our muscles <coughs> uh, through ingesting proteins. Um, we, we can get proteins from plants, but good sources of proteins are beans, okay, lentils, um, fish, and meat. Meat is high in proteins, so 
um, if someone is working out and building their muscles, they're going to want to eat a lot of proteins. They can also consume protein shakes. These are drinks. Protein shakes are drinks that you can um, have after a workout, um, and they uh, they usually come with come in certain flavors. They can taste like chocolate or vanilla. I don't know. Okay. Fats. Uh, fats are the third macronutrient. They are very calorie rich. Um, they give a lot of energy, and uh, they're a little bit harder. Uh, to br it takes a little bit more time to, to break them down uh, in the digestive process. Okay, we have something called monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. All right, uh, this is just a classification of fats that you may learn in, uh, um, in your health science, in, your, in the health sciences. Okay, um, an example of mono and polyunsaturated fats would be olive oil. All right, and let me think. Uh, what's the saturated? F Never mind. Uh, olive oil. Okay, that's one example I can think of. All right, fatty acids. The uh, fatty acids saturated. And tr okay, wait, wait, wait. This is a little confusing. I think I made a mistake. So we have saturated fatty acids. We have saturated fats, and then we have trans fats. Okay, so saturated fatty acids would be like coconut oil. Um, or saturated, another form of saturated fat would be butter. You can also find this in animal fats, such as lard. Um, uh, saturated fats are good for cooking. Okay, you you can cook in um, coconut oil, for example. It has a high cook point. Uh, and then you have something called trans fats. Trans fats are generally <laughs> are definitely unhealthy. Okay, and you find trans fats in processed foods such as cookies. All right, certain sweets, um, crackers, and such. Okay, these salty or savory um, processed foods that are usually packaged. They have trans fats, and this is very inflammatory and uh, thus uh, uh, stimulates uh, the or causes disease. Okay, vitamins and minerals. <laughs> I'm just looking at the time, it's like 7.30. Um, this video is going to be long. Vitamins and minerals. These are uh, necessary um, for proper functioning of um, all humans. Okay, so certain examples of vitamins uh, that, we, that you may know or have heard of are vitamin A, vitamin B complex. I say complex because there are several vitamin Bs from 1 to 12. Vitamin C, all right, or ascorbic acid. Vitamin D, which you can get from the sun. Um, naturally through just exposing your skin to the sun um the vitamin e okay you can get this from certain um from fish oils okay vitamin e and then you have something called minerals okay minerals you can find they're found a lot of them in the ground where we grow our in the soil where we grow our fruits and vegetables we can find minerals um examples of minerals are copper okay that's a micronutrient or mineral copper we have uh, iron all right, um, let's see, zinc is a mineral, magnesium, okay, it's good for um, the, the nervous system and for your muscles, okay, and finally, recovery, what is recovery? Re recovery means to um, get better over time, to become healthy over time, so uh, after having uh, maybe an operation or um, after getting uh, hurt, so you, you you go through a process or you go through this time period called the recovery period. This is when you're getting better. Usually, you are resting, you're drinking lots of fluids, you're eating uh, certain foods, healthy foods, and you are uh, accelerating this recovery process through rest and uh, recuperation. Another fancy word uh, for it that means getting better, to recuperate, to get better. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, video. It's going on to the 10, mar 10 minute mark now. Remember to drop a like, comment down below, and uh, yeah, let me know what else you would be interested in uh, me teaching you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.